Hey guys, so I got a question from someone about what do you do when you're caring for somebody who has a trach or is on a ventilator. Now, I have a lot more experience with people who are on trachs, obviously, but um, <clears throat> basically you provide the same care that you would provide any other um, patient. So whether that's bathing, dressing, um, you don't really feed them because um, most of them are NPO because they have the trach um, or the vent in their mouth. Um, <clears throat> so basically a lot of them are NPO. I have experienced three people in my entire experience with trach patients who are not NPO and usually those people are way more independent like they can connect and disconnect themselves from the oxygen tubing to their trach. Um, they don't need as much assistance but the people who are going to need the assistance um, <clears throat> they are going to be more um, total dependence where you're gonna have to be rolling them changing them doing um, either a complete bed bath or putting them on the shower bed and bringing them to get a shower um, basically like I said you just provide the same care the only thing different is you have to watch that the tubing doesn't come undone um, and if they have a feeding tube, you need to make sure that when you're turning them, you know where the feeding tube is so that it doesn't become dislodged or come out or come open. Um, usually what I will do is when I'm about to turn somebody who has a feeding tube, I put the feed on hold if it's going. Um, and then I'll, I'll let it start flowing again once I have them all repositioned and... Um, back in bed the way that they should be to where they're laying like they're supposed to be whether that's on their side or on their back um, <clears throat> depending on what cycle it is in the repositioning or turning um, program because what I do is I turn um, I start on the back and then after two hours I will turn them on their left side and then after two hours I'll turn them on their back again and then after two hours I'll turn them on their right side um, so yeah it's it's not that difficult it's just something that you have to get used to dealing with because um, <clears throat> it can be a little intimidating and communicating with people on trachs is a lot more difficult because um, there's a lot of air involved when they have that trach open. They do have buttons that they can put on the trach. I forget what exactly they're called, um, <clears throat> but it covers the hole in the trach so that you're better able to hear them, but you still have to definitely pay attention to what they're saying um, in order to understand um, what it is that they're saying. So it's really not that difficult. Like I said, it's just, it, it's a little bit of a learning curve. It takes time and you have to be patient in working with these people because like I said, a lot of them are totally dependent and you know, they are going to need your help a lot more than somebody who is not on a trach or event. Um, but yeah, it's really, it's really not that difficult. If you don't feel comfortable, um, have somebody help you out explain to you how to do certain things. Um, like I said, it's more just making sure that the tubing doesn't become dislodged or come loose. Um, and if it does, put it back. Um, and if you don't feel comfortable putting it back, let respiratory know or let the nurse know so then they can get them oxygenated because that is one of the biggest things. It's the reason why they're on the trach to begin with. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if there's any more information I can give you guys on um, caring for trach patients or people who are totally dependent or just patient care in general, please let me know. I'd be glad to um, 
get that video made for you. I hope this was helpful to the person who asked the question. And um, yeah, any other questions, just let me know. I'll make a video about it. And if I can't answer your question, then I will try to point it in the direction or point you in the direction of someone who is able to. So with that being said, that's all I have for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and I will see you guys again in a couple days.